No, I don't have anything against humans. But how is it that you go about defining good and evil? I'm only using what the gods gave me. How can that be so wrong? You like killing me? Bring it on, bitch! I like that. He's fired up. So, the Messer. Basically a big chef knife. If Gordon Ramsay was a mercenary chef, this is what he would be cutting people's heads off with. I don't give two fucks if you get upset with me. This is not personal, this is professional. That yeah. first one's a piece of shit, now fuck off! Most Messer users are... Belligerent and numerous. With only a single edge, the Messer strikes fear into the hearts of its enemies. It bangs with the best of the two-handed swords, and can two-shot a level three helmet. Ooh. Ow, Charlie! That really hurt! To the Messer, cutting through metal armor is like slicing cheese. It tears through light armor, and peasants are easily cleaved in a single blow. It's like a falchion on steroids. You could call it the cocaine cleaver. You wanna play this? Okay. I can play with it. You wanna play what? Okay. Say hello to my little friend. By default, the Messer is a two-handed sword. But by switching to its alt mode, you get a single-handed grip with a slower release time and a faster combo. The damage values don't change between the two modes, making it easy to swing away and chop at everyone who gets in your path. I'm gonna get medieval on your asses. It hurts to be you. Why are you running? Why are you running? You're in big trouble though, pal. I eat pieces of shit like you for breakfast. You eat pieces of shit for breakfast? The Messer thrives off of fear and intimidation. It may be short compared to the other two-handed swords, but in the past, the Messer had a lunge that made it feel like it would extend out just to hit your target. The most recent patch removed the Messer's phantom range, so maybe this issue will be a thing of the past. Or maybe the Phantom Range just moved on to another weapon. Of all the weapons in Mordau, the Messer probably has some of the wonkiest animations in the game, which often leads to a lot of misread feints and morphs. Or it could just be the wild and reckless way that Messer users swing. Your basic bitch Messer user has bloodlust and a dream. They throw themselves into the crowd and swing wildly at everything. They live from kill to kill and treat everyone like a little juice pack full of health. More! Jesus Christ, Aaron, fine! I've noticed a lot of them tend to run around and look at the ground. They say it's for easy excels, but I think they're just sniffing everyone's feet. I'm sure for most of these guys, they probably think they look pretty cool, swinging around the messer like they're some crazy skilled swordsman. There is no forethought, no logic in his actions. This isn't just any swordsman. This is the blind nigga samurai. What's good, nigga? What's really good? I wonder if they know that to everyone else it just looks like spastic flailing. I mean, if they come up against somebody who's experienced, that smooth brain shit is not gonna fly.
I would say these guys swing like a blind man, but that just might be more credit than they deserve. For the most part, these guys have about as much grace as a newborn giraffe. And they'll hit teammates a lot more often than they hit the enemy. Bruh. Bruh. It's unfortunate, but team killings tend to happen pretty often when you're wheeling around a huge fucking kitchen knife. But sometimes that's just the sacrifice you have to make for being awesome. Of course, if you ask your teammates what they think, I doubt they're going to be very positive. Oh, shit. No. <laughs> you killed me with a mess of your growth! People like you are the reason why God doesn't talk to us anymore. <laughs> <laughs> they're just rat dicks. Sock fucking rude little rat dicks. Joshua just got the clip that is the epitome of the fucking messer. Oh god. Yeah. Yeah, it's your exact stereotype of the messer. I swing through everything, even my teammates. Oh no. Let's be honest. If the great sword is for barbarian brainlets, then the messer is for samurai wannabes. This guy watches too much anime. He's probably trying to be the next Afro Samurai, Zoro, or Inuyasha. I bet he even has a furry profile pic, the degenerate. In every situation, I am the victor. I got something for you. Here comes the pain! Pretty much pick any anime character with a katana, and that's this dude. While you were out there having a life, Samurai Jack over here was studying the blade, wearing only a trench coat in the middle of the summer, blasting one winged angel on repeat. The Messer is a weapon that just attracts the sweatiest of chads. The kind of player who mains the longsword in Monster Hunter. The kind of guy who power games in D&D and then only makes a champion fighter. Who is that guy? Whoever he is, he is one tough badass. Back in the day, the meta for the Messer was to turtle up with level 3 armor. They'd hide behind their shield and wait for you to attack. Then, they'd hack you down. They were real assholes to deal with. But thankfully, shields have been reworked. And now anyone who still hides behind one is about as bright as that kid in class who would lick 9 volt batteries because they thought they tasted like Sour Patch Kids. This kid's definitely on crack right now. Shut the fuck up! Know your fucking place! Trash! In my opinion, the Messer was made to be used without the encumbrance of a shield. Being able to go from swift and deliberate two-handed strikes to long one-handed drags allows you to maximize your swinging potential. And having lighter armor means more speed and mobility around the battlefield. So nowadays, the meta for the Messer is light builds with bloodlust. As much as that's not my perk of choice, I do like using the Messer from time to time. Those moments when I can line up a bunch of injured opponents makes me feel pretty badass. It's like I'm in one of those old samurai movies, hacking and slashing through opponents like Zatoichi. Yes, I'm very aware that I swing like a blind man. Alright, this video took way too long to make. Between struggling with OBS to record Mordow, lost footage, and script rewrites, this video has become one of the longest projects I've worked on. We had three major updates drop. 
Don't get me wrong, I was happy to see they made changes to the Messer's turn cap and movement in general. But by then the video was so jam-packed, I just couldn't find somewhere to put it. So I figured, as a reward for all of you who stuck around till the end, I'd sum it up in this little meme. Yeah, that about sums it up. What weapon would you like to see me cover next? Make sure you subscribe with notifications on so you don't miss it. I'd also like to thank my Patreons for supporting the channel. Big shout outs to Croman, Fox, and Luddy for donating $5 a month. And Johnny for donating $3 a month. Thank you for your continued support. And if you want to see sneak peeks at videos before they come out, or just want to support the channel, consider joining my Patreon, or becoming a channel member. And as an added bonus, you'll even get a special role in my Discord. Thanks for joining me for another Weapon Stereotypes, and I'll see you all in the next one. Later!